Hello, my name is Mark McCorkran. I'm the Senior Advisor for Science and Exploration at the European Space Agency. And for my object of the month, I've decided to go way off the beaten track and pick an object which many people won't have heard of, but it's called HH212. HH stands for Herbig Harrow, and these are two astronomers, George Herbig and Guillermo Harrow, who back in the 1960s or so started finding fuzzy patches on the sky near to places where they thought young stars were being born. And these these objects that became known as HH objects, Herbig Harrow objects, were thought were found later on to be material flowing away from young stars. Now that's sort of interesting to begin with because when young when stars form, material has to flow in to make a star. But what was discovered is that as the material spins in a disk, which is kind of the protoplanet system that you know that with the Earth and Jupiter and everything. As, as the material spins into the star in the middle, some of it gets ejected out into jets of material that extend great huge distances across space, uh, above and below the plane of the disk, so to the North Pole and South Pole. And in the early 90s, I was working with a uh, bunch of astronomers, uh, Hunt Sinica, John Rayner and others, and we were using some of the very first infrared cameras that would been put on telescopes. And we went to this p rather peculiar place in the sky near near Orion, in the constellation of Orion, but a long way from the Orion Nebula. And we discovered some dots of material on the sky in a straight line. And it was only visible in the infrared. So you couldn't have seen anything in the visual. You needed this infrared camera. And as we sort of took more and more pictures and extended out along the, the knots, we saw symmetric pairs of knots on either side of a dark spot on the sky and then huge bow shocks, huge sort of waves moving through space. And we discovered this object, which is now known as HH212. Now, 212 is the catalog number, but it's not a coincidence. Uh, we actually asked for that number in the catalog because it's the wavelength we discovered it at, 2.12 microns, which is a wavelength where hydrogen gas, hydrogen molecules, when they get hit, by energy flowing away from a young star, it heats up the gas and it glows at that particular wavelength. So HH212 is glowing in molecular hydrogen. And we've been studying it now for all the intervening years since the early 90s. And we can actually see it moving across space. We actually see it getting bigger and bigger and it's expanding at, you know, on the order of 100 kilometers per second. And the reason I've chosen it is partly because we've been looking at it for a long time with all the biggest telescopes in the world. But it's one of the objects I'm going to be looking at when the James Webb Space Telescope gets launched in 2021. So I've put that in my guaranteed program to take super high resolution pictures, the sharpest pictures ever taken of this object. We'll see it moving relative to older pictures, but we'll find fantastic new detail. Uh, and that will help us effectively trace the history of how material has been falling in to this young star. It's only maybe 50,000 years, 100,000 years old, which is incredibly young. And because the pulsing of the knots moving away from the star reflect how material has been falling in. So uh, HH212, one of my very favorite objects in the sky, and uh, it's an amazing object. And it's such a beautiful thing to see in space as well but you need to have infrared vision. So uh, you need to be a snake rather than a human being to see it.